What's going on YouTube? Easy Tech 231 here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick video. I am working on my next one, so don't worry about that. Uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys real quick. I've got signage in my 12 nightly running on my Note 4, it's the T-Mobile variant. And let me go ahead and start it by saying daily driver material. Yes, this one works really, really well. Um, you know, I've been waiting for a you know a somewhat stable ROM for my Note 4. Um, and I do, as you guys know, I love Cyanage in Mod 12. I had Beta running on my Galaxy S5. No longer have the S5, so I have it here running on my Note 4. And this is really, really awesome. So before we get into all of the good things about this ROM, let's go and start out with the bad. And don't worry, you know, this is still daily driver material, so there aren't too many things to dislike about this ROM, which is good. They're just, just mere nitpicking on my part, uh, like um, little things like the, the lock screen, you know, when you press the button. It kind of takes maybe about a second to actually wake the phone. It's, it's nothing major, like I said, so you know nothing to really worry about here. It just takes, it, you know, that's something I really noticed, you know, first off when I first installed this ROM. But again, it's nothing huge. It's just a nitpicking, <laughs> so that's okay. Another thing is battery life. When I first flashed this ROM, battery life was just absolutely terrible. Um, I was, you know, the, the battery life was draining right before my eyes. I could see the numbers just fall down quickly. Uh, but with, you know, about two nightly updates, um, it has improved a lot. It has improved a lot. It's still not nearly as good as the stock TouchWiz ROM, but it is still good. It's nothing to really complain about. In my experience, anyway, it may be different with you um, because I don't, I'm not, I'm not always on my phone. I'm probably a moderate user. Uh, so it's not like I always have it on full brightness. I'm not always running 4G LTE. I don't always have Bluetooth on, you know, just monitor stuff like that. Um, so I do get probably a full, a good full day's use out, out of it. So that is a good thing. Um, that's pretty much it for the bad things. Um, and, you know, all these little things will most likely be fixed in future updates to this ROM. So nothing really to worry about. Uh, so, yeah, all the good things. A lot of stuff going on here with this ROM. Um, this is Android 5.0.2 Lollipop, and I'm running the latest version of this ROM, actually, as, as of this video. Um, and, you know, typical with CyanogenMod, Mod, you've got your, you know, typical add-ons here, you know, like your little personalization here, um, like your status bar stuff, you can change, you know, clock position, you guys know how this works, percentage and all that good stuff. Not going to go too in-depth with all of this. You can change things in the notification drawer, like the quick pull down. If you guys know in Lollipop, to get to your quick settings, you have to swipe twice or swipe with two fingers. Um, but with this enabled, you can actually just swipe down from the right side and get straight there, which is really cool. You can also choose to show your weather, and you can also edit your tiles here, your quick settings. You can add which ones show up. Um, you know, for example, you can add one to be uh, compass or audio effects or LTE. Um, and I chose one here to, you know, go straight to the color inversion which I think is pretty cool actually so that's that and then you also got your theme engine here which works really well just make sure you don't try to install a sign engine mod 11 theme that'll probably not end too well <laughs> it'll probably cause the theme engine to force close and then you know it's kind of hard to fix that you'll probably have to reflash the ROM after that but I did try out some you know a few ROMs here and they work really well and it makes the phone just look super awesome so I do like how they added that kind of stuff and I also have the navigation bar here with these software buttons I do like the software buttons because you can get straight to Google now and they're just you know it's just really nice to have software buttons I'm not always a big fan of having you know a hardware key um, or anything like that but you know it is useful sometimes when I want to check my phone and you know, I can, you know this is sitting on my desk and I can just you know tap the home button and it wakes the device that is a nice thing but you know just meh whatever <laughs> Um, so you can get that here in the buttons. You can also add other buttons like a search button and a menu button on the other side. So that's pretty cool. So I do like what they added here in the settings. Um, and that's pretty much it. You guys know how Lollipop works. Material design is in full effect. Everything works as it should. Um, you know, 4G, LTE, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the NFC works. You can even record 4K in the camera. I'll go ahead and give you guys proof here. And oh, look at that. The camera is malfunctioning so I'm gonna have to re you know reboot my phone no big deal um, so yeah but you can record 4k which is really nice and yeah that's pretty much it so if you guys want to try out the ROM I'll put the link in the description so you can try it out for yourself if you have already or if you're about to let me know uh, in the comments below you know your experiences and all that good stuff and I'll make sure to check out your comment 
Um, so that does it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm We're, we're nearing 10,000 subscribers, which is just crazy. Um, I really do appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And you guys have a good night. Peace.